Hey, this is Dallas Fisher with 86 Industries. Uh, we're here right now doing a turbo replacement that you're having a great weekend, you're coming home and something bad happens. So this is our friend, Jared Walker. Uh, tell us what happened this Saturday. So, uh, you know, obviously spending a great day at the, at the lake, come back, all of a sudden the truck starts losing power. Um, a lot of smoke coming out, trying to pull this hill. Hit about 35 pounds of boost, so I knew something was going on with it. Uh, got back to the shop, pulled codes, had a P0299 for an underboost code, so looks like we're going to be doing a turbo. Okay, so we got the turbo from 86 Industries. We uh, got brand new Garrett GT3782VA, and it does have the custom 86 Industries 59mm billet wheel already upgraded inside the housing. So let's get the, after this install. All right, so to begin, we gotta get a few things out of the way. Um, some of the first things we, we gotta work on getting out of the way is we're gonna have to get the, the coolant overflow tank. That's gotta get out, you gotta pull that out of the way. You gotta get your air intake out of the way. Um, so we're gonna get all this out of the way. We're gonna probably take the boost tube off and get that out of the way. And then also this plastic piece right here, this has gotta come out of your way. So once we get that done, um, disconnect your batteries and you got pretty well easy access to the turbo at that point. Okay, here we're back. We got the old turbo out. Again, it took a little time. Again, getting a little rusted in there. Uh, again, this is a 2005. has about 170,000 miles on it. Uh, real quick, you notice the difference showing here that we're changing out that billet wheel inside. Again, here's the 86th. This is our 59 millimeter. That's the 11 fin. And here's the cast wheel on the stock turbo. It just has the seven, uh, seven blades on there. Uh, definitely we found the culprit what caused Jared not to be building any boost, not having any power. Just going back in the side here, we can't uh, get, get this to push in at all. Versus uh, going to the new one, which is controlling veins, just a little pressure on that. We go in and we can pull it right back in, out, uh, in and out. So, anyways, old one's out. We're going to go ahead and throw the new one back in. All right, here we are finishing it up. New turbo's installed. Uh, put all the tubes, all the clamps, everything's back together, so we're ready to fire it up. Let's go, Jared! Okay. Alright, there we go. We're ready to rock and roll. It takes about 50 miles. You want to let that uh, oil you know, get in the turbo. You don't want to go full out right away, but... Take it easy for 50 miles, let it all set in, and be ready to go. So there you go, 86 Industries, any Ford 6.0 liter uh, parts, that's where you can get it. Thanks, everyone.